Hello, and welcome to The Picture, a Coke Industry Spotlight series offering a look at the transformational and inspirational stories happening right here in Wichita. I'm Melissa Scheffler. Innovation can come from a need to find a solution to a common problem or a desire to transform yourself. It's the basis for multiple programs that Coke supports at Wichita State University and WSU Tech. As students look for jobs, the demand for a skilled workforce has never been greater. An innovative program that helps skilled trade students develop principles for successful careers is scaling across the country. It goes beyond technical training. The certification from the Micro Works Foundation is teaching students how to improve their work ethic, and it was developed here in Wichita. When Marissa Bayless graduated high school, she didn't think hands-on work was an option for continuing her education. So she enrolled in a traditional four-year college. Two years in, I decided it wasn't really fulfilling what I wanted to do in life, and I wanted a bit more creative um, training. So I transferred here to get that. Here at WSU Tech, Marissa is a first-year student in the construction science program. She wants to learn how to flip houses. Once I got online and looked into it, I knew it was perfect for me. Marissa's career training includes what could be considered a non-traditional subject, a credentialed work ethic curriculum created by WSU Tech and the Mike Rowe Works Foundation. Jennifer Rowe is the Department Chair of Leadership and Personal Development at WSU Tech. She says the content is based on what's known as the Sweat Pledge. The Sweat Pledge was a document that outlined what it meant to embody the four pillars. Um, the first one being work ethic, and then personal responsibility, delayed gratification, and a positive attitude. <laughs> we want everyone to understand that these are skills that help make you employable and keep you employed. We meet with our students on average about 10 hours um, to complete the MicroWorks work ethic program. WSU and Coke Industries have worked closely together for years, helping students develop skills to reach their potential. It's a connection they share with the MicroWorks Foundation that seeks to increase America's skilled workforce and elevate the dignity of work. We started partnering with Micro and his foundation back in 2013. We supported scholarships for a number of years. The foundation was looking for ways that they could deepen their impact with students beyond the scholarship. Through our interaction with WSU Tech, we learned that they were also involved in this space, working um, to develop a work ethic curriculum. And so we knew that we had to introduce them to our friends at the MicroWorks Foundation. Now, WSU Tech and the MicroWorks Foundation are partnering to scale their curriculum and certification nationally, helping students develop the necessary skills to succeed. Marissa, who is also a micro work scholarship recipient, sees the value. I will learn a lot in these next two years and I'm really looking forward to it, but I do think that that sweat pledge gave me a lot to think about and a lot of challenges on who I wanna be and the type of worker I want to be. So as long as I keep those in mind, it should help prepare me. The Micro Works Work Ethic Curriculum is only one of the non-traditional learning experiences available at WSU. In just a moment, we'll give you a behind-the-scenes peek at the Coke Innovation Challenge, a competition that's teaching Shocker students to look at everyday problems as big opportunities. Welcome back. During the past five years, students from Wichita State University have qualified to compete at a national invention competition, even reaching the finals once. Their journeys began with the Coke Innovation Challenge, a local student competition sponsored by Coke Industries. The hands-on program encourages students to work together and design creative solutions for life's daily challenges. All participants gain valuable experience, and the winners earn a trip to compete at the national level. Here's a look at how the challenge works. The Coke Innovation Challenge is open to WSU students in different fields. Each team creates an invention and submits a business plan to commercialize their product. Then it's time to pitch their big ideas and receive feedback from professional entrepreneurs like Jason Ilian, a managing director at Coke Disruptive Technologies. So tell us about the project and how you guys kind of came up with it. Like, what's the backstory? Uh, my brother actually tore his meniscus and his ACL. Okay. Um, and so it's kind of like inconvenient to have to like stack up multiple pillows and go and get the ice. And um, so yeah, our product will definitely help. So basically, um, this idea came from my friend, and she is actually visually impaired. As she was getting her drink, she put her finger over the side of the cup to make sure it didn't overflow. 
And I was like, well, that wouldn't work with hot liquids. This yeah. is the water level sensor, buddy. A name is a work in progress. A work in progress. <laughs> that's kind of a mouthful, good. but it's, it's still yeah. good. Exactly. I like it. Hearing aid manufacturers include a little stick with a magnet on the end of it. Where ours is like innovative is that it's an electromagnet, and that's why we have the button. So once you pick up the hearing aid battery, and then they can drop it in. The fine point on the end is small enough to the point it can grab the smallest batteries, but mm. the electromagnet yes. is also strong enough to pick up the biggest. So theoretically, when the gears spin, it creates electricity. Factories use water to cool down their okay. machines. So then all the discharge water is just out in a reservoir, like doing nothing. So we decided to put a pipe on it with gears that could generate electricity. As we get the engineering, what are the price points? Who are we talking to? What is the code that we need to have changed, right? It's not going to create a lot of energy, but it could be enough to where they can uh, light up the parking lot, maybe. So it's OK if you make a 1,000 mistakes, because you just found a 1,000 ways that don't work, right? You just need one that does. This is our toothbrush. With kids, like they'll either, you know, like just put way too much toothpaste on or like not hardly enough. So you're twisting this, and it's going to be pushing up the toothpaste? Yeah, yeah. and so okay. we put the tick marks on there because you just twist it up, and then the little, It'll like, you the can little, stop like, to where a tick mark is. Yeah, and it puts the perfect amount that you're supposed to have. You need it in a sense, when you're marketing something, is remember, look at how much better we're making people's lives. You have, you have a fun friend that's blind, and you can help her. And now, you don't just help her, you can help millions like her. It's awesome. impressive. WSU students placed in the top six of 79 teams at the national competition with their liquid measuring tool for the visually impaired. But innovation isn't just for students. There's a place for everyone at WSU to create, invent, and produce anything, from quilts and t-shirts to wood and metal products. We'll take you inside the state-of-the-art makerspace, Go Create, made possible by Coke Industries and the Coke Family Foundation. And I'll introduce you to an innovator ready to help solve a hot problem. We'll be right back. Todd Gentry saw a need for an air conditioning compressor that used heat for energy. He lacked the space and tools to start the process. So he signed up for a membership at Wichita's Go Create, a Coke collaborative makerspace that sits on WSU's innovation campus. See why he says that membership saved him hundreds of thousands of dollars and learn how you can use the space for your next big or little project. All right, Todd, take us through your invention. This half is essentially the standard air conditioning components. And then this half is where our compressor lives. This tracks the sun throughout the day as it goes from you know, morning into evening. It effectively superheats the refrigerant gas in there. And we use that pressure to do the work that the electrical compressor normally would. Todd Gentry has made a career of taking problems and creating solutions. So I had to battle with air conditioning with the very first venture, which was the internet service business. And we had these small sheds out in fields, quite literally, that had air conditioning units hanging off of them. And they sometimes wouldn't work right. And then all the equipment would stop working. Or, and they were always expensive to run. So that planted the seed that there's got to be a better way to provide the air conditioning for entities like this and perhaps others. What is the name of this product? It's basically heat-powered air conditioning. And our particular innovation is just the compressor. Kind of the cool thing about this design is that all typical air conditioning components are still there, but we've taken out the electrically powered compressor and replaced it with a heat powered compressor. Todd had the concept, but lacked the resources to produce his prototypes. That's until he toured GoCreate a 20,000 square foot maker space on the campus of Wichita State University. Todd signed up for a membership immediately and started working on his idea. Really, for the cost of the materials, we were able to put together not only one prototype, but two. We have began evolving the designs, and it's truly probably saved us $450,000 at minimum. We had so many uh, different mentors that really stepped up and, and made this all possible. And, it's everything from bending metals um, to the water jet and the welding. GoCreate offers more than $2 million in state-of-the-art equipment and professional mentorship for anyone to experiment and design the world's next groundbreaking innovation. Kim McCollum, the facility's assistant director, emphasizes that it's for the whole community, thanks to funding from Coke Industries and the Coke Family Foundation. Without their support, we would not have a GoCreate. This building 
faces the community for a reason because they wanted to make sure that it was open to everyone. We have members that are as young as eight years old, all the way up to 84 is our oldest member at this time. We have crafters, hobbyists, we have entrepreneurs. Todd says his GoCreate membership is continuing to provide additional benefits. The other great part about GoCreate is we're actually able to office out of here. What would you say to anyone who's thinking about coming in to use the GoCreate space? You know, the, the way we started is just one piece at a time. We designed that piece, talked to the mentors here about how to build it, and it was done after a few months. And then we went on to the next piece. And so it's really the way to tackle any big project is just to take it a piece at a time and, and leverage the resources that are here to uh, make it happen. And there are a lot of resources at GoCreate. To learn more about this makerspace, what it has to offer, or how you can become a member, head to the website on your screen. Coke is proud to support membership assistance at GoCreate for those who qualify. Thanks for watching the picture. We hope this gives you a better perspective of the positive stories happening in Wichita. See you next Sunday.